Hey everybody, so today's video I'm super excited about because I had everything I needed to do this. All I had to do was go kind of on a scavenger hunt around my house, in the garage, through the recycle bin to get the items that I needed to make this project. It takes maybe 10 or 15 minutes and the majority of that time is spray paint drying time. And if it's summertime outside, if you're watching this, it's gonna dry super quick. Today's project are these bottles, glass beer bottles, with words written on them with hot glue and spray painted. I love this idea. I love it so much that I could not wait to do it. And the best part of it was I didn't have to pay anything for it because I had everything that I already needed to do this. So I think that you need to go on a scavenger hunt today. Go through your house, Look for a beer bottle, an old beer bottle or soda bottle, a wine bottle. Look for a Starbucks Frappuccino. Hey, that is another reuse, recycle, upcycle purpose for those Starbucks Frappuccino drinks that I drink all the time that I rave about. That's another use for the jar. Here we go, right here. I have one sitting right here. Make them out of the, or use a mason jar. Or you can go to Michael's and you can buy the clear soda bottle containers that they have there with the mason jars for 99 cents. You buy three of them and that is virtually almost nothing too. It's three bucks to do it. But my idea for this project today was free. It costs nothing to do it. And now I have got a really cool new artifact for my kitchen. So you know what? Let's get started doing this. Let me tell you what you're gonna need for this project and it's easy breezy and simple as can be. You're gonna need a glass bottle of some sort. You're gonna need to go plug in your glue gun and get that glue gun hot and ready. And you're gonna need some black spray paint, matted spray paint. And all you need to do is buy the Walmart 97 cent black matted spray paint. This spray paint is awesome. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, I tried to do this with white and I used the Starbucks Frappuccino bottle. I do not like the white. On this one, I put smile and please forgive the writing. I have terrible writing. But the white just made it look plasticky and I think it would have turned out better if I would have used the white matted spray paint. But I had the gloss and so I tried it and didn't like it. So today I am going to stick with the black matted paint. I also did a bigger one out of a bigger bottle, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it was a 22 ounce bottle um, of Mammoth Brewing Beer. And this came out really cool too. It says love on it. And um, I decided I wanted to write live, laugh, and love. So that is what these ones are coming in handy for. And today we are going to write the word laugh on one of them, so I will have the complete set. So let me zoom on in, let's get started doing this and you're gonna see how fast and easy this is and you're gonna wanna do it too and you're gonna love it when you're done. So go grab your stuff and meet me back here when you're ready to go. I have the worst penmanship ever and it will be displayed with this glue gun writing as well, as you will see. And um, yeah, it's kinda hideous. But I think that I am going to write this way. Let me see. And I'm gonna try and write laugh this way. So I've got live, laugh, and love. And so you are just going to take your glue gun and you're gonna try and not press on the glass. You kinda of wanna let it be the thick bead. And just go ahead and write the best you can. And I think while you're writing it, if you push on the glue gun, on the glue stick itself, it kind of gives you a neater letter. Oh yeah, it totally works better that way. Okay, so 
there we have the word laugh. So I think we need to let it dry and then you see how there's a bunch of like little uh, glue hairs. Once it's dry, you need to make sure you get all those um, cleaned up because when you spray paint it, like those will show and it'll look really bad. So you wanna get all those little glue strings up. Okay, so I have got all of the hairs and strings cleaned up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside and I'm just gonna stand it uh, straight up. I'm not gonna worry about painting the bottom and I'm just gonna spray this whole thing with the black matted spray paint that I have. And I will meet you back here when it's all dry and done. All right, everybody, so we are done. The paint is dry. That flat black spray paint takes about five, maybe 10 minutes to dry here in the summer. So it was pretty quick. And look, there you have it. And isn't that just flipping adorable? I love this idea. I love it so much that this live, laugh, and love, these three that I made are definitely going in my kitchen above my cabinets where all my artifacts and knickknacks are. I'll probably, you know, do them on different levels. But I just love this idea. I think anybody can do it. Everybody's got some kind of recycled bottles laying around their house. But I can honestly say that this project did not cost me anything. I had the spray paint lying around my house. I had a hot glue gun already. And all I did was go and dig through the recycle bin in our backyard and got three bottles out and three matching bottles out. And this is what I came up with. And so that is my idea of a fun crafting day. I hope you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up, pleasey please, as my little Ally would say. And please subscribe to my channel. And every subscription and subscriber helps. And just a reminder that for every 100 subscribers that I get, there will be a free gift giveaway. So come on subscribers, just click that subscribe button because I promise you there are lots of free gifts that I'm ready, willing, and able to give away to you. I'm just looking forward to giving that first one away because I think you're gonna like it. So have a good day and happy crafting and make sure you're crafting on a budget. Till next time, see you later, bye for now.